Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my swirl nails. So swirl nails are basically different lines or swirls over the nails and it's kind of like an abstract look. You can do this with all kinds of color schemes and all nail shapes, um, but I'm going to be showing you generally how I decide on placement and colors. So if you're interested in seeing how I did this set, then just keep on watching. Alright, so getting right into the nail art, I am first starting out by creating a custom base color. So I'm using Blossom from Luxa, which is this pink color, and then I'll be using Tarte from Luxa as well, which is kind of like a beigey nude color. And then I'll also be mixing in some clear top coat, um, just to make sure that it's nice and sheer and glossy. I think it's always important to make sure that your base color, especially when you're doing anything with negative space, is really custom mixed to the right skin tone. Of course, you can just have a bunch of different polishes, but I kind of like to custom mix when it comes to a base like this, um, just so that it really fits each skin tone perfectly. I'm going to be using my practice hand today, which is kind of a similar skin tone to mine. Um, so I kind of wanted to add in a little bit more of that brown to give it a little bit more of a medium tone look and so it wasn't too pinky. I did want it to kind of have a pinky look as well. So you can see I've already sculpted out some oval shaped nails and I did use like a really light pink acrylic, um, but I ended up wanting to add a little bit of that tan in there. So I'm going in with a little base. Of course, you could just leave the clear, or sorry, the pink acrylic as your base. Um, but like I said, for this particular look, I wanted to just add in a little bit of that tan beigey tone as well. So as you can see, I am just applying a really thin layer with my number six gel brush from Luxa. And I'm just going over it multiple times just to make sure that there is no streaks. A lot of times when you're using a really sheer color, either one that you custom made or even just sheer polishes in general, um, it can tend to be streaky. So I always just take a little bit of extra time um, working the product around just to try to get it as streakless as possible. Next, I'm going in with my nail art gel. So I'm using Finesse from Luxa, Mexico City Movement from OPI, and this Silver Lining Gel Art Pod from Luxa. This is my McCart number three brush. It's kind of like a long, skinny striper brush. Not super long, obviously, um, but I kind of wanted to use this one versus like a shorter, denser nail art brush, um, just because it flows a little bit better. So it's really easy to use when you're doing swirls or curves. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be showing multiple different ways to do swirl nails on each nail, kind of. And it's not really supposed to be a super cohesive set. You can definitely do a bunch of different types of swirls on a single set. Um, but generally, you kind of want to stick to the same theme, I would say. So you can see on the first um, nail, I started it from the left side, if you're looking at it this way, and then ended it in the middle. This swirl, I wanted to start from the opposite side, so like the right side of the nail, and then I'm ending it on the left. And both of these are kind of um, vertical, I would say, type swirls. Um, you can also see that I am trying to create different thicknesses of the line as they go around. This is a more horizontal version of a swirl nail. So again, I'm creating the line starting out a little bit thicker here and then kind of letting it taper off at the edge. So you definitely want to mix up the thickness of your lines. You can mix up like you definitely want to mix up where they start and where they end just so you don't have the same pattern on every single nail. Um, 
but like I said, you might want to keep it a little bit more cohesive. This was just me kind of demonstrating um, all the different ways you could do it really. This is another kind of vertical look, but definitely offset to one side. Um, and next I'm going in with my lighter blue. So to talk about color scheme a little bit, I like to, it, de it really depends on how many colors you want to use. Um, if I'm using three colors like I am for this set, I like to use two colors that are kind of similar. So these are two blues and then kind of an accent color, which will be my silver. Um, and as you can see with this blue, I am kind of doing a shape that is the same as that swirl, like it's touching. And then on this finger, you can see that I am not letting the colors touch, um, but it is kind of following the same pattern as well. So there's just different ways to do it. On this one, I'm starting it out touching and then it kind of branches off to its own uh, line at the edge. So um, you can start it off and then flow it away. There's just so many different ways to do it. And I don't really follow pictures when I'm doing this. I'm just kind of organically drawing the lines. The good thing with gel is if you don't like it, you can just wipe it off and try again, try a different placement. And if it does help you, you can always just use a reference picture to kind of go off of or just copy exactly when you're starting out doing this at least. Um, there's really no shame in that as long as you credit the artist. Um, but anyway, moving on to this nail. You can see for the lighter blue, I am making a lot thicker of a line than the dark blue. So with swirl nails, it really is just flowing, playing with the thicknesses, playing with the angles and the color schemes. So here for my accent, usually for my accent color, I like to do a little bit less of it. Um, this one, you can see, since I didn't really have much room on the nail to go anywhere else, I kind of just followed the same line again. But usually with my accent swirl, I kind of like to do what I'm doing here and just kind of go off of the pattern. So you can see I'm kind of still trying to make sure that it flows, but definitely going off of the pattern. So the two colors that are similar are pretty similar in shape and pattern, whereas the accent is just kind of literally an accent. Um, but here I'm going in with my top coat. This is the Young Nails Manicure Top Coat and just making sure to seal everything in, um, making sure to press it nice into the design just again so there is no texture at the end of the finished result. Um, but that is about it for this video guys. Please leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts and just your thoughts in general around this nail trend. You can support me by liking and sharing the video, subscribing to my channel, shopping press on nails from my Etsy shop and following me on Instagram. Make sure to tag me and use my hashtag Bianca Elena Beauty if you recreate the look. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.